All right, everyone, here we go. It's an all signs reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. It's Mercury and Taurus. I like it. Not a terrific Ford automobile, but a terrific sign. I will tell you that. Ah, uh, Mercury and Taurus. Well, this page of Pentacles staring at you backs it up. The pre-shuffle. This is meticulous planning that leads to action. See, that's the thing. It's not just planning and then nothing happens. It's planning that leads to action. And that planning is all around communication. Page, just on the surface energy, page of pentacles crossed by the knight of swords. Planning, thinking about every word they're going to say, maybe nervous about it, that leads to action. All of a sudden, they go from a little fawn into an owl. Okay, a flying owl or a flying fawn, we could call it that. Why? Well, there's some communication there. Somebody here wants something new. And I'm just pulling on the energies attached to you with Mercury in Taurus. So this could be anybody. This could be the runner. This could be somebody holding on the feelings for you. It could be anything. It could be a new soulmate, old soulmate, both. Either way, it's all communication, communication, communication. Why? Because they want something here. Somebody's starting over. Somebody's making practical plans, rock solid plans to start over, right? Why? Well, there's the Five of Pentacles. They left themselves out before. Now they're feeling the connection with the, I'm just digging deeper, with the High Priestess. And there, there you go. We go way beyond just setting the intention here. They are looking your way. Somebody is, okay? I got nothing but communication here. All right. Let's do it. Let's see. I like this energy. I like Mercury and Taurus right now. I also like that Venus is moving into Gemini, and I like that Jupiter is moving into Gemini. Next week's going to be fun. It's going to be a very, very, very Jupiter-Venus week. It's going to be very interesting. But right now, we need Venus and Taurus. We need someone to sit down and think practically and go, yeah, I know what I want to do. Right? It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you're here, you're here for a reason. The reading is timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. We are well out of any post-Mercury retrograde shadow action, as the kids like to call it. So let's see where we go. All right? Meticulous planning that leads to action. doesn't just sit there. That three of wands back that up when we dug for it. First card out's before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Why? That's why. You talk about rock solid. That's the most solid new beginning in the tarot. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. But it's slow, right? It's grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. It's fucking slow, but it gets there. Right? As long as you, I mean, 15 miles an hour is slow, but you get there. That's why we're here. Somebody's making a plan and sticking to it. This is the energy you can make a plan and stick to it. Mm -hmm. I said... In a recent reading, I said, I know Mercury and Ta people with Mercury and Taurus. Very meticulous. I know them very well. I'm married to one. <laughs> My wife has Mercury and Taurus in her chart. And even going to the grocery store is a military operation well planned out. Don't deviate, right? You know, God forbid I want to change what kind of oil I'm getting. No, nope, it's not on the plan. Okay. That's why I sometimes sneak out at night and just go to the store by myself. <laughs> I'm, much, I'm much more fluid with it. It's the... Uh, Hangman after the cut. Mm -hmm. This is, um, it's just, it's like that new perspective energy. Yeah, but it's just, it's got a lot more attached to it than that. There's, there's more here than, than just somebody's got a new perspective on what they want to do. No, somebody has their eyes wide open here. They know exactly what they want to do, but they're not coming out of this hangman until everything is perfect. Everything is right. They know what they want to say. All that kind of stuff. Or again, around that page of pentacles from the uh, pre-shuffle. Let's go. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Give me the soulmate cycle universe with the influence of Mercury in Taurus. Let's see what we get here. It's going to be interesting. We're going to clarify with the witches. That should be fun. All right, let's go. Let's. Okay, that's that. That's that. That's that. The moon. Is the overall energy is the moon. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see anything. I, I don't know. It's not a very lit moon. What's fueling it? The star. Oh, good. It's it's wonderful. Out of the shadows. Yeah, that's why I can't see it. Out of the shadows here. Something you've wanted. Might happen. Something somebody has, however, for the incoming energy, something somebody has always wanted to do in relation to you it happens. It comes out of the shadow. Something they've been afraid of, they're not afraid of it. I don't get that they're afraid of it. Look, look, you want proof? I'll go one more. Wheel of Fortune. 
Right? It turns everything. It turns the fear. It turns everything. Something's going to happen here. These are plans that take action. Although there's a lot more energy attached. That moon goes with that hangman. This is going to be a very interesting reading. Okay. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how they're behaving in the 3D. Right here's their soul. There's the hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the energy of your connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. Red with the 3D energy. I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. And you bet your sweet asses, although I should do some research to make sure they're sweet. I don't know. In this Mercury and Taurus energy, I might need flow charts and all that kind of But I'm going to assume the sweet asses. There's going to be a link more extended in the description. Okay. Energy around your connection. Mercury in Taurus. Singling out that energy. We got it. We put some brackets around it. Knight of Pentacles. Slow, meticulous, but gets there. Everything I said, right there. Right? Energy around your connection. Knight of Pentacles. Yep. Expect it. Oh, I would. I would. Expect something completely different to happen. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows exactly what they want to do here. I think I saw a temperance. Yep. I did. Major, 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 major. The entire overall energy of this reading, even going four cards deep, is Major Arcana. Oh, I'm sorry. Five cards deep is Major Arcana. When does the ma and the Major stops there? But I can't go any further than that for the overall energy. That's a Ten of Wands. It's a Ten. It ties to the Wheel of Fortune, which is a Ten. Tens are the end, end, dead end. They lead to a new beginning. Shit's happening. Right? You wouldn't want to give this your electric bill. You know, you'll, you'll be sitting with the lights off before it gets paid, but it'll get there. It will get paid. Somebody coming. Mm. They're just going to be thinking about what they want to say. Make sure it's just right. All right. Okay. Uh, 3D energy is around this person. What's going on in their life? Whoever the fuck this is. The fool. Yeah. New journey. Taking leaps of faith. Trying new things. There's some boldness attached to this, right? Something new is happening here. Somebody is making some changes. They're meticulously planning it in regard to you, but I imagine everything else too. There's a lot of hidden energy here. Very mysterious. This tied with the hangman. Very mysterious energy here. A lot of hidden energy. So this is a lot. A lot of this is going on behind the scenes. You got to have some what? Faith, right? Faith. Leap of faith. You got to have that too. Right? Faith energy is there to summon it. Knock yourself out. Here's their soul, whoever the fuck this is. It's red with the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. We get that a lot here lately. We get that a lot. Somebody, and that's the Page of Swords I like there. That's the per person stepping outside themselves, watching their life like a fucking movie and going, holy shit, I thought I was cool. I thought I was awesome. I'm shit. Okay? It's like that. Somebody here is pushing, making plans. They're very, why are they making changes? This energy flows from here to here. They just, they got something wrong. Also, they can't find you anywhere else. You're, you're irreplaceable. This is an irreplaceable connection. I mean, it's just, it's all there. But really, it's somebody here really, really taking a look at a lot of it going on behind the scenes, taking a good look at themselves. Okay. And, and really processing the disappointments, which is sort of, activating the planning stage here. Slowing them down a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. That's what this energy is about. You slow down. You make. You don't skip over things. You read the fine print. Oh, does my wife ever read the fine print? Holy crap. I, when she bought her car, I, was, I went with her to the dealership. I was, we were there for six hours. She had to go over every fucking thing on the piece of paper. What's this? What's that? This is a release of liability from your other car. Okay, let me read through this. I'm like sitting behind her and the sales guy's looking at me and I'm like, I'm with you, bro. It's fine. You're just going to have to deal with it. You know, I do this shit every day. <laughs> right here is the hidden energy. Message from the universe. Red with the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Mm, there's two truths. Yeah, there's two truths that they're looking at. Two Ace of Swords. There's somebody here. Look at these, these cards go together. Look at the color match on them, for God's sake. And this goes with that. Look at the color match, right? Uh, one of these things just doesn't belong here, right? It would be this. This is the oddball. This is the, this is the card that, that doesn't really, it's kind of a standalone. That said, somebody's at one side, they're looking at, they're watching their life back and going, this sucks. 
And on the other side, they're going, wow, this, this connection is really powerful. It's still there. I can still feel it. I'm afraid of it. I'm scared to death of it. That's part of the energy of that moon. But it's something they really want. And somebody's making some big changes here from the soul with the hermit deep down in there. Potential final outcome. I told you I like this energy. I do. Potential final outcome. Red with the fool. Nine of cups. Go and get it. Eye on the prize energy. When I get the nine of cups with the fool or a card like the fool, it is, I mean, the energy here is crystal clear. It's eye on the prize. Somebody is unhappy. This is just disappointment with all the stuff they're looking at. Somebody here taking a look, look at their life and going, I know what will make me happy. This card always read with this, but it always ties with that too. It's all about your soul connection. Let's clarify. <laughs> all right. And yet again, didn't this come up in the random read I did the other day? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Empress at the bottom for some reason here. Just randomly. Wow. Yeah, they certainly see your value. They can't find you anywhere else. They can't replace you. I'm drawn to the little stars around the barn owl. Whenever I am, I'm like, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's a no-brainer decision here. I see it here. Taking leap of faith, but it's really a no-brainer. This is communication. Let's go. Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here? Let's clarify this thing. Let's do it. Now let's do it. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Tell me about it. Hmm? What you want to tell me? Wow. Queen of Cups. Wow. Powerful fucking shit. Holy cow. Um, somebody wants love here. I mean, I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's my desert queen. It's not your energy attached to that. It's theirs. Somebody's love has awakened. Okay? Whatever love they have for you, it has exponentially increased in this energy. And it's causing them to make new plans in some way. Okay? And, and this is not by any means a rainbow unicorn reading just because communication came out and just because I said that. It is not. We have, we still have to talk to the universe about this two of swords, crossroads, which jams up most people. And we still got to learn more about that. But what's on top here? Yeah, the tower. Yeah. Expect the unexpected here. All right, some of you are going to be damn surprised that somebody has feelings for you. That's one energy that's there. In fact, it's the primary. You're going to be blown away. You'll be like, oh my God, what just happened today? Right? Uh, others, this person shows up when you least expect it. If they're slowly making their way under the cover of darkness and they show up when you least expect it. It's a surprise aspect of the tower. That's the primary energy. Obviously, the, the energy is there of tearing things down. Somebody wants love. Somebody's love is activated. I get a very lonely energy here from this person. And all they can focus on is this connection. This, this is where the planning is happening. What's going on in their life? Well, it's an exodus energy away from it. I don't think they're doing much planning on that. I think they pretty much, that's part of what they're figuring out. Why is the tower here? Temperance. I believe it. I believe it. Body, again, it's, it's, it's a lot of healing. It's communication. It's, surprise, it's a surprise truth from somebody who seems really stable when you talk to them. Seems to know exactly what they want. Well, they do. They spent a lot of time thinking about what they're going to say and planning it out. You know, I mean, absolutely. All right, the fool. Let's go. Let's talk about it. The fool. It's, this is an energy right here, just in general, right? It, this energy would sum up my wife nicely. I've already told you two touching stories, grocery store and car dealership. But this energy here, Nine of Pentacles, Tower, and, and Temperance, okay, this is someone who does things right, someone who gets it right. All right, looks at the facts, looks at the truth, meticulously plans it, and, and, and I'll admit, while it's a pain in the ass, things rarely go wrong. All right? There's never a bad purchase. There's never a regret or something like that. Except I don't get to sometimes change the oil I want to get but at the grocery store. But aside from that, this is a very nice energy. I think this person surprisingly stable. Knows exactly what they want. They're coming to get it. Yeah, because they spent a lot of time reading the fine print of their own damn existence. What's going on with the fool? Tell me about the fool. Hmm? What's going on? 
You know, a lot of people don't think Flem the Parrot is still here because he's been so quiet lately. He's gotten so used to you all. He's here. Look, here he is. Say hi. Here, I'll turn you upside down. You can look up at the camera. Hello, camera. Oh, my God. He just loves these readings. Uh, he likes the he likes he likes your energy. He doesn't he goes to sleep over there. I mean it's crazy. I got myself pictured with him on the on the uh, thumbnail for the damn YouTube channel and uh, you know people uh, I think new newer people are confused. I've never seen this parrot. What is this parrot? Well, he's there. I I, I milk off his energy to you know whatever. He just falls asleep over there. He's grown quite accustomed. A lot of you have been coming here a while. And birds, parrots and birds of prey in particular are fabulous energy readers. Better than me on any day, on their worst day. Better than me on my best day. He knows all of you. You know, he's pretty content. If any of you were to come over the house, I'll tell you what, he'd probably just step right up on you. Oh, I recognize them. What's going on with the fool? Hmm? What's going on with this bird here? We got a lot of birds on the table. We just had a parrot. Then we got a barn owl and a well, a chick of some kind. Looks like a duck or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It's crossed by. And guess who's coming towards you? Guess who it is? Right? It's everybody's favorite fast food restaurant. Right? <laughs> favorite I use loosely. Uh, it's Burger King. It's the King of Wands. Gotta have it their way. I think they know what their way is now. And whether they get it or not is up to you. I always know the way I want my Whopper. No pickle, no mayo. You all know that. I have very rarely, I can't think of a time when they actually got that. It's always got some shit on it. It's always got mayonnaise. They always leave that. I don't know why. I don't care. It's, it's on them if they give me mayonnaise, mayonnaise. I'll clear a fucking whole restaurant in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, somebody coming. The Burger King, they know exactly what they want. They know what their way is here. There's a lot of confidence in this. Okay. Maybe overconfidence. I want to say maybe over. What's on top? The King of Pentacles. What did I say? It's a stable energy. This is an amazingly stable energy coming towards you. I almost hope this isn't the runner for you and it's a new soulmate. Because this is a terrific energy. Okay. It's, it's my, I mean, even I, I make jokes about my wife and her meticulous Mercury and fucking Taurus, but I'll tell you what, you know, we don't have a whole lot of trouble. You know, I'm always, I always know I'm getting a good deal, you know, at least, you know, that being said. Uh, it's very stable here. Very, somewhat, very, very stable. They know exactly what they want. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Four of Cups. Wow. Somebody figured it out. Somebody here figured it out. There's, there's, there's a single-mindedness here, okay? Single-minded. Only, only thing they want is one thing. They didn't want it before. Before, he didn't want to bang Blondie, okay? Now, they do. Now, they know where they went wrong. There's an energy of someone who knows where they went wrong. The King of Pentacles can be a great teacher, and it's, it's right there. Someone knows where they went wrong. Well, let's find out how they know and what they think they know. Page of Swords. Uh, again, we have to, in order to figure out where we're going, we have to know where we've been. And part of that is stepping outside yourself and sort of watching your life back as a movie, and, you know, in, in its own way. It, it, it's a way you got to play back the past a little bit and look at it objectively. It's kind of what's happening here, but it's, it's very automatic. It's not like, I'm not going to lie to you, they're not on some dark night of the soul. It's just the nature of this energy, Mercury and Taurus, the way it's blending with the existing energies around it. All right, that's all. Why is the uh, Page of Swords here? Tell me about this barn owl. What's going on? What's going on? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're freeing themselves from anything disappointing. Anything. I see that here. This energy flows 5D to 3D. That's the primary energy flow. So this flows over here. They're, they're liberating themselves from any kind of disappointments. They're looking at the negative stuff and going, I don't want that. Right? I know what I want. Right? And that I know what I want part is over here in some kind of connection that they have with you, whoever this is. So this could be somebody asking you out. Whatever it is, it's probably going to blow your mind. It'd blow your mind if Burger King got your order right. I mean, it'd blow your mind. I know it'd blow mine. It'd blow your mind if this Burger King actually showed up and they were stable and they were speaking truth and it sounded like it might sound rehearsed 
That can happen with Mercury and Taurus. Stuff can sound rehearsed. Somebody might say to you, in other words, please just let me talk and let me get this out. Right? They might say something like that. That's somebody begging you, please, I've thought about this for hours and days and months and I know what I need to say. Please don't interrupt me. Okay? It's like that. That type of energy. I get it. What's on top? Three swords. Yeah. Why is the page of swords here? Three swords. There's, there's a lot of... It, they're looking at the hurts. They're looking at where they've done themselves wrong. They're watching their life back and going, Oh shit, I thought I was awesome. I'm a piece of crap. I took a genuine offer of love from Blondie. That's you. You're Blondie in this case here. A genuine offer of love or friendship and I booked it for the hills. I ran from it. Or... If it's a new soulmate holding on to feelings for you, I have these huge feelings and I'm doing nothing about it. I'm sitting with my arms crossed, pretending I'm just happy to be at the stream with, with, with them. That's all. So it generates a lot of pain, a lot of, a lot of it. And they're looking at that, which means on their side in their life, they're making some changes. That fool is moving away from something. It's moving toward your connection, but it's moving away from something. Why is three swords here? The devil. Again, it, this just amplifies it. That's all, right? That's all. It's, what, it, it's a picture of what I just said. It, why is the Three of Swords here? I check my energy read on that by pulling that. Well, look. Look at the picture. Light shining in. Angel light shining in on the devil, looking at the negative stuff. And wouldn't you know it, the devil is directly bookending in the reading the temperance card, the angel. Angel energy cancels out devil energy. Everything I just said just got validated with the cards I threw on the table. And that's why I throw the cards. I don't need them. But why should you take my word for it when I can show you pretty pictures and you can see it and I can show you how they tie together and everything. It's very nice. It's nice. Okay. Two of swords. Now let's talk to the fickle old gal universe. Or as we called it the other day, I think it was the uh, fickle old TARDIS. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. Those random unplanned readings, man, they really truly are. I say they really are. I mean, I had no idea when I sat down. I was just, the other day, I was just going to do an energy weather update. I didn't know it was going to turn into a big production. All right. Two swords. What are you trying to tell me here, universe? What you talking about, Willis? What's going on? Huh? What? No, now you want to talk. Oh, crap. I put him on camera. Now he thinks he's famous. Oh, crap. All right. Yeah, you're an influencer. You're influencing other parrots. Yep, there you go. <laughs> All right, the two of swords. All right. Um, three of pentacles. Somebody, there's an environment. Somebody wants something new. They want something new, but there's something else they have to deal with first. I get it. I get it. As I say that, I look at what's fueling the Three of Pentacles and Six of Swords. There's something else they have to move away from first. There's two truths. The disappointments. It's everything I already said. But what's on top? I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. So sometimes I say that. It's everything I already said. I think these readings are more what I say while I'm shuffling than what actually happens when the cards land on the table. It's the Four of Wands. Directly read with the Tower. Yeah, they need to walk a new path. I get it. But what's interesting is this person really wants to walk a path with you. All right? And this is, this is not a new decision or it's not a new realization, but they've pushed it back so much that it's, it's got the power of a tower behind it. Right? This whole thing. I mean, they come crashing in. What's that song? Like a wrecking ball? Well, it's a bit of that, man. What's going on with the uh, Four of Wands? Ace of Wands. I mean, I, normally I'd say this is red with temperance, but it, it's not. It's just why the Four of Wands is here. Someone is starting anew. Someone's walking a new path here. And it's because they're looking at all this shit. And they're meticulously planning what to do about it, and it leads to action. And this stays lit. This red with the, Sometimes I say this will blow out in the wind, but when it's red with the Four of Wands, it stays lit. Okay, final outcome is Nine of Cups. Eye on the prize, going for the gold, reaching for the brass ring, reaching for the cock ring. I don't know, reaching for something. What's going on with the nine of cups? I don't know what's going on. Hey, I don't joke about anything that's not in the energy. 
you'll laugh when they whip when they whip that out you'll be like oh my god Steve and they'll be like who's Steve oh never mind I'm just some asshole on the internet all right nine of cups nine of cups why is it here what's going on fuck I like this I love this with the nine of cups it's crossed by the page of wands my little adventurer page it ties perfectly with a fool card over here that it's read with I mean it's just they know what they want they go it for it. I just don't know it's like it's like what I said about the Burger King there the Burger King knows what it wants right it wants to have it its way it knows what its way is and it's this I just a lot of times boys in particular this age get a plan and in their head it works great it's a terrific idea but in reality they're a little bit off and sometimes you then that's how you learn lessons that's the kid who comes into school the next Monday with the with the cast on right they learned a lesson they had an idea oh I'm gonna dive for that ball uh, right off the side of a cliff you know it's a bad idea what's on top ace of pentacles grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour the energy of the why we're here before the cut from another deck ace of pentacles this king is holding this ace of pentacles it's red with this king long time coming it's taking them a long time this energy will they will take their time in this energy I'm, I'm not going to tell you expect communication when Mercury is in Taurus. Expect someone behind the scenes planning, knowing exactly what they want to do, and then bam, they do it. This energy bleeds into early June. I've been saying that about the month of May since we got here in the month of May. I said it bleeds into the early part of June, and it does. A lot of that has to do with Jupiter, but some of it has to do with Mercury and Taurus. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? One of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. Actually, they're both on the table. That's one. And this is one. I've been telling you that since I got here. The Five of Cups. <sighs> just, well, think about it. This Five of Cups. Look at this girl. Right? Sad. Depressed. Regretful. Two cups still standing. This is red with the Four of Cups. It's, it's an escalation. That's good. It goes from here to here. But yeah, they didn't want it before. Now they're regretting not wanting it. This guy, this incoming energy, is regretting not banging Blondie, not telling Blondie how he feels. Just sitting there with his arms crossed, looking at the fish. Oh, look at the little frog. Did you see the frog? What the hell are you doing talking about frogs? She's hot. Okay, they regret it. So this is the epitome of under this energy, someone will regret it and they turn around and they come back and communicate and I can almost say that here even on a deep level because of this right here because of this energy that ties with the pre-shuffle energy of the page of Pentacles which was worried about every word they're gonna say writing it down rehearsing things like that and then BAM quickly they say it with the Knight of Swords crossing it right BAM here we go somebody meticulously planning everything they're gonna say slowly coming towards you and then BAM they say it Communication with the temperance card. See? Plays out. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's going to be a hell of an extended. Oh, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have a field day with the Four of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Devil, the Tower. We're going to find out what's going to happen here. All right? But I also need to pull on you. I need to open with you in the extended because I feel like the Burger King knows what they want. They know what their way is, and it's over here. It's in the connection. But, I, but with that page of wands crossing there, I know uh, best laid plans. You know, maybe maybe you're moving in another direction because you're doing some meticulous planning too. Your energy's attached here. All right. Anyway, let's see what the universe wants to tell you. All right. What do you want to tell my viewers, universe? Give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. Let's go. All right. The ass of the deck. Let's do it. Is it a nice ass or is it not? It's a nice ass. It's ten pentacles, seven cups, page of cups, and here he comes. I told you, overall energy is tied with that hangman after the cut. There he is. Hangman crossing the seven of cups in the uh, base energy, right? And these are the outliers. The energy flows from here, here, to here. 
That said, these two are tied together. This, these two are tied together. Uh, anyway, hangman with the seven of cups. Somebody is looking at all the options. They know what they want. They have an objective. The eyes are open. See that? Has an objective. I'm awake. All right? Wakey, wakey. Um, but they're looking at all the options. Why? Because somebody here wants new love and they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. You matter. This is a big deal. Okay? This is why somebody knows they need to get it right. This is sometimes in readings we say, well, if you've got somebody coming towards you, new soulmate, old soulmate, they better come right. Right? You've heard me and maybe some other readers say it. In this case here, they know they have to come right. Okay? I'm just not sure that they are 100% clear on, on the plan. I, I'm not sure. We'll find out by pulling on you and getting some contrast. But ultimately here, yeah, there's a strong probability somebody is making some plans behind the scenes. The whole energy here is hidden energy. Right? Making plans, not talking about it, not posting about it. You're not going to see a Facebook post from them that says, I'm making plans to go talk to the DF. Not going to see that. Okay? Uh, you'll probably see the, just the opposite because a lot of times we have masking going on here. So, that being said, that's your reading. It's nice. It's nice energy. Make sure you make your plans. Make your energy. This is your soul connection. You're this too. Right? Make sure. Make sure that you're ready for somebody right now or make sure you want somebody or put it out there who you want and how you want them to be. Perhaps energies attached to you will pick up on that and it'll increase the chances that things will go well. Be it a new soulmate or a long lost runner, whoever you're here about. Okay? That's your reading. Uh, if you want the extended, the link is in the description. All right. I'm going to go. We're going to open with you and then we're going to get right in on the devils and towers. Oh boy. All right. Good luck.